happy Saturday. Welcome to the vlog. If you are new here, my name is Alex. It's very nice to have you. If you are not new here, thank you for coming back. So this morning, I actually have quite the to-do list. I still need to read my daily thingy. It is actually pretty good. And it goes day by day. I'll show you. I'll show you yesterday's. So you can see how it's set up. Oh my goodness, focus. Okay, so it just has the date and then a little thought exercise. So I've been doing that every day. Um, I need to do today's. Uh, Rosie is getting boarded today, tonight, um, because we are going to take my mother-in-law out for her birthday. And the hours, like if we were to just put her in doggy daycare, we wouldn't make it back because my mother-in-law lives like an hour away, over an hour away. So we wouldn't make it back in time to pick Rosie up before daycare closes. So we just have to board her. I would rather do that than have her sit in the kennel for like four hours. And she loves this place. Excuse me. So packaging up her food, labeling it. Um, I also got a new work phone. So I need to port the number over. So that's on my to-do list. And then I also need to drop off Amazon returns. So I have them um, organized by who they need to go to. And I have the returns processed like in the app already. So I just need to do that. And there was something else I need to do. I'm making my mother-in-law some skincare. So I need to finish packaging that up. And there was something else I had to do. Oh, I, Luna woke me up at like six this morning. It's only eight right now. And we're not gonna go leave for my mother-in-law's until maybe like two or three or something. So I have plenty of time. So I also wanna run by Lowe's and see if I can get enough mulch to do the bird feeding station. So I decided around the well outside, I'm just gonna convert it into a bird feeding station. That way I can have uh, something for platform feeders and that would be the well and then I also got different shepherd's hooks to hang bird feeders and now as I'm saying that I didn't actually buy bird feeders okay so I gotta do that <laughs> just let me do that before I forget because I'm gonna forget so you might notice that uh, well by the time you see this it would have been last week's video so I lost this memory card. I lost like the whole entire card reader that connects to my computer and it still had the card in it from the last video that I edited. So this week I was like, well, I don't know what to do. I can't upload my video because it's on the memory card and I also can't vlog this week because I don't have the memory card. So here we are. And because of that, I didn't film, didn't get to film like putting the different yard stuff up, but I can show you guys what it looks like now. <sighs> Babe should probably cut the grass before I show you guys. And I'll be fine. You guys won't judge. What was I looking for? Bird feeders. Bird feeder. I have a feeling that the squirrels are just gonna. A solar bird feeder? What? One looks like a little mushroom. That's kind of cute. Okay, that's kind of cute. See, I like grandma stuff. I think I might get that. <laughs> I think that is so cute. Oh, I just realized the mushroom has a metal base. Okay, so I gotta find a different one. Plastic or wood? So they don't burn their toes. Hi, little baby. Did you have fun outside? Oh, you know what? It is, it is eight. It is time for your breakfast. You are correct. Let me feed Rose. I'll be right back. Okay, I got the bird feeder. Um, Rosie is eating. Okay, I'm gonna fill these up. Why did I do that? Um, what else? What else did I have? I think I just, after this, I just need to get ready um, her blanket and bed is already out there. Her toys already out in the car. Um, yeah, I think after this, Rosie's gonna be ready to go, so I need to get myself ready. And then I think I'm gonna drop her off and then go to Lowe's. I, what in the world? Okay, 
This is uh, me. I haven't done anything to myself since I woke up, so. The Amazon returns have been really weird. So the ones that go to UPS, for whatever reason, it printed off five different labels. Um, I indicated that I needed a box and a label. It said $0. I take it to the store or to the UPS store and they're like, no, you have to buy everything. I was like, okay. So I bought everything, put it in five different things, mailed it off or gave it to them to mail off. I go to USPS, which is the US Postal Service, like the government one ran in America. <laughs> and they don't print labels. So now I have to go to the library and print a label and then come back. That's okay. everything loaded up I put the bricks in the back um, and then I got this little succulent guy um, he was 50% off he's on clearance there's no like pests in the soil or anything it just needs some love so paid $14 and there's four different types of succulents in there and then this little guy was two dollars I thought he was super cute I don't have a hot pink plant Alex is gonna be like we literally don't have room from our plants why do you keep eating plants it's only 74 here, but I am overheating so badly. I look sweaty. I'm probably getting red. I'm getting red. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Okay, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna put my little cooling vest on. Oh my gosh. Okay, the cooling vest has been working. It is amazing. Um, the gel itself doesn't feel freezing, like the packs don't feel freezing against my back, but my back, like my skin, feels very cold. But it doesn't feel cold like when I'm wearing it. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like it's pulling the heat out of my body. It's very cool. Anyway, I'm going to go home. I need to turn the AC on in the car because I'm burning up, but I'm going to try and get the bird feeding station done before we go see my mother-in-law. Okay, so this is the beginning of the bird feeding station. So I'm gonna cover that up. Then I'm gonna have a platform feeder. Oh, refocus. And then I'm gonna have shepherd's hooks. Um, this is the old well, so don't know what to do about that. It's non-functional. Obviously we need to cut the grass. But this is the general vibe.
<clears throat> Have I not talked today? Oh, can you hear that car's engine? Hold up. Is that better? Uh, ignore my wet hair. I showered this morning and the blow dryer is in our bedroom and babe is still sleeping. So I didn't want to go back in there and run a blow dryer. Anyway, um, going to get my eyebrows touched up today. Oh, why am I holding it like this? Um, this side I think retained pretty well. This one maybe not so well, but they did a lot better than last time. So here to get the touch up. It shouldn't take that long because she doesn't have to do the actual mapping or anything. So here's the before and I'll show you guys after. You guys have already seen the studio twice in other vlogs. So wow, I, my hair looks crazy and really bad because it's still half wet. Anyway, I'm gonna go get it touched up and I'll see you guys after. <laughs> Can you tell that I haven't had coffee? I have a raging headache and I'm just dragging ass. No caffeine before the eyebrow appointment, so. But I got the coffee pot ready to go for when I get home. <laughs> okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Got them filled in. I'm not gonna touch them. Um, looking great. Um, also, the the eyebrow lady, she's, she's so sweet and she's so smart. Um, but she told me to go to a dermatologist to get this checked out because she said it didn't have like a symmetrical border and she thinks it looks bigger than the last time and she said that I had a few more like in my hairline and then over here the thing that I thought was like a pimple scar um, was like the same thing as this so I'm looking for a dermatologist because now I'm kind of freaked out <laughs> uh, oh well well we'll cross that bridge when we get to it if we get to a bridge. Okay, I'm gonna go home. I desperately need caffeine. I feel like even my voice is different. Oh yeah, and I I uh, shaved my nails. No, what? No, I filed my nails down super, super short. Well, short to me, like they don't go past my the ends of my fingers and painted them black. So I feel like I am back to myself, back in action. I like the nude glittery nails, but there's just something about a glossy black nail. Yes, this is what I needed. Also, this mug, my friend got this for me. I think for my birthday. Maybe for Christmas? Can't remember. And then I liked it so much that I gifted it to a different friend. Not this one, obviously, but I purchased it anyway. Uh, my lip stain also looks very patchy and hot pink in this lighting. Fantastic. I'm feeling better already. Uh, I've got like a quarter of my coffee down. I'm coming back to life, guys. I'm coming back to life. And today I did, uh, um, usually I just do milk in my coffee. Um, but today I added sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Happy Tuesday. I am working from home. Uh, I will actually be working from home the rest of the month because I am in quarantine for treatment. So if you guys have MS and if you're on Ocrevus, do you quarantine before and after treatment? Because I've been doing two weeks before just to make sure I'm not sick for the infusion because then I couldn't get the infusion. And then I've been doing two weeks after anticipating like fatigue and because my immune system will be like freshly killed I was avoiding people but the whole point of the treatment is to deplete the B cells so I don't think the two weeks after matter I think it's the two weeks before that matter and I don't even know if it should be two weeks I know my infusion in December I'm definitely gonna have to do um, the two or three weeks before because people will be, it's supposed to be like mid-December. So people will be traveling for um, Thanksgiving and being around a ton of people and you know, illnesses are typically passed around when you 
gathering groups like that. So I avoid people. And then my two weeks hit for pre-infusion. And then after that, it's Christmas, New Year. So I try to avoid people then too. Um, well, it's not just Christmas and New Year's. There are other winter holidays other than Christian holidays. If you're on Ocrevus, can you help me? Do you guys quarantine? <laughs> Let me know. I have a to-do list for today. I didn't even put everything on there that I need to do because this is just for today. I need something that I can actually accomplish. Um, so I already got one thing off. I had to change Rosie's daycare versus boarding days for the rest of this month. Um, Babe and I's anniversary is also this month. So that infusion, um, what else do we have going on? My mom is turning 60, so I'm gonna go visit her. I don't know, June is a big month. June's a big month. Um, okay, so I need to make my quarantine to-do list. Not that my days are gonna be looking any different from a normal work from home day, but I just feel like if I'm going to be at home, I wanna be able to at least like point to something and be like, oh, I did that when I was home. The, the bad, not the bad, the downside to me getting my eyebrows done yesterday was now I can't be in the sun for at least two weeks. Um, and then after that I can start putting sunscreen on my brows because they'll be healed and then I can start going in the sun with protection, obviously, with SPF. Um, but until then, that means I can't finish my yard projects. So those are on pause, however, um, I need to figure out what books I'm going to read and in what order. So I used to love reading. Well, I shouldn't say that. I love reading. I used to make it like more of a core part of my day. Like a, a big chunk of my day would be just consuming knowledge <laughs> or stories. And I want to get back to that place. I already read for like five to ten minutes a day, just my the daily stoic. Thing that I can think about in the morning like a little meditation or a thought to have throughout, throughout, throughout the day. Um, so I want to habit stack on that. I'll explain, okay, I'll, I'll get to that when I go through my books. Anyway, um, I want to fix the catio because Luna has found a way to escape every time so I need to prevent her from doing that. Uh, so I gotta do that today so the cats can actually enjoy being on the porch and being outside. The next thing on my to-do list is this area of the porch. It's a pretty decent size. I know I've never actually shown you guys because then you could see more of the house. But anyway, um, we're gonna make it like an actual outdoor living room thing. So today I wanna get this whole area cleaned. So Rosie tore up cardboard over here so I need to get that cleaned up. Um, I need to get the, <laughs> the bird poo cleaned up from when the baby's hatched and everything. But that's only in one little area. And then for Babe and I's anniversary, I got us a projector. So after we set up the outdoor living room area, we can come out here and watch movies. So I'm pretty excited to hang that up. Um, so got to clean and get the outdoor living room area situated first. Um, the other thing, I have a lot of plants that I need to repot again. <laughs> well, not again. They're different plants. I just need to put them in their permanent homes. This is like what, round three or four. So I need to put the succulents in their permanent homes, um, the jade plant, the inch plant, I'm gonna repot because I haven't been doing, not the outdoor inch plant that my mom gave me, the one that we had um, indoors that was a little bit scraggly. Oh, she was rolling around. I was like, I hear Rosie doing something. The century plant, um, it's in the agave family. It is throwing up more pups, so I need to repot those pups, and then two co-workers want the pups. So I gotta do that. Um, I mean, they're not gonna get it until July, like another three or four weeks, because I won't see them, because I'm not going to the office, but anyway. And then that little hot pink plant that I showed you guys, I wanna put that in a, in a pot. Okay, um, what else? What else, what else? Oh, for the infusion, I downloaded a new game for the Switch. If you guys have a Nintendo Switch, I know, who told me about it first? I think it was Cosmos. I think so. 
anyway, I think he was encouraging me to find more cozy games. So I have um, Animal Crossing. And then yesterday I downloaded Summer and Mara and I started playing that maybe for like 10, 15 minutes yesterday. So I'm still like very much trying to get oriented in the game. Um, but so far the graphics are fine. There seems to be like a really robust storyline. What happened? What happened? Your energy is very scattered right now. What happened? Okay, someone at work needs to talk to me. I'm gonna review my books with you guys really, really quick. I'll just try and tell you what I'm <laughs> trying to do. So, trying to dedicate more time to reading. These are all of the books that I am like kind of in the middle of right now. <laughs> so, I need to figure out my life. Okay, these are the books. Pretty dense in subject matter. I hope that it's focused. Okay, so. Ugh. This one is the Daily Stoic. It's not a book that you just read cover to cover. You only read um, an entry a day. So I'm still gonna do that, that's fine. It only takes me like five minutes, 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do, because I wanna read the moral, let moral letters from Seneca, I am going to habit stack these two together because this, trying to read this cover to cover, like just straight <laughs> philosophical letters, would be so much. So what I'm gonna do, because they're actual letters that he wrote to his friend, they're not very long, so I'm gonna do one letter a day stacked with the one entry a day. So that should be a pretty good way to get my day started, and then I can get through both of them. That'll get me to finish this in six months. Out of the other ones that I have, I have started all of them. <laughs> So this one, I'm about two thirds of the way through. I really just need to finish it. So I'm going to completely finish reading this one before I do anything else. So that one, top of the stack. The other ones, um, this is the only work of fiction. It's also very dense. It's Dostoevsky, so it's very, very dense. It's Russian literature, so probably not going to read this one first, even though I already started. I'm going to put that at the bottom. Um, this one, I think I'm going to do after the laws of nature because it won't take me that long to get through. It's not that long. The font isn't that small. So this one's probably going to be like a good win to knock something out. So I'll do this, then I'll do this. Let me put them upside down. Okay, the next one I think I'm gonna do, just because I could probably power through this one really fast. This one is called Originals, How Nonconformists Move the World. Uh, after I read this one, I'm gonna pass it on to my team at work. Um, this will probably be a pretty light read. Pulling out key themes, notes. So I will do this one after. And then between these two, I still have another nonfiction and another fiction. I have started them both. So this one, The Psychology of Human Destiny. Um, this book demonstrates how each life script gets written, how it works, and more importantly, how anyone can improvise or change their script to make a happy ending. I think I'm gonna do this one after that. And then I will leave Mr. Dostoevsky, Dostoevsky, Dost. I'm going to leave this one for last. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do that. Now. I must work. I told you guys that I would show you how the, like, outdoor seating hangout area was going on the porch. Um, the electric drill... Let's not get into that. Anyway, the, <laughs> the projector screen is not hung yet. Uh, I'm gonna do it either tomorrow or Saturday. I'll probably do it Saturday. Um, but, oh, the little baby bird, do you guys see it? Anyway, so, um, don't have that set up. 
but I have the divider set up and I have the chairs where I think I want them um, and the little like love seat thing so I can show you guys when it's officially done uh, but I did hang up the other bird feeder and I got a new hummingbird feeder okay this is the new oh <laughs> my reception was way off okay this is the new hummingbird feeder it's blown glass I think it is so pretty I need to put sugar water in it um, and then back here oh you guys can't see that oh because it's right there um that's not you know what we'll flip this around Okay, and then out there, I hung up the little bird feeder and I started this, but it's not done. Oh, there's a little baby bird. So that inch plant that I showed you guys that my mom gave me that was like on its last leg, I just left it outside to its own devices. I haven't touched it. I clipped all of the um, little leggies off of it where it was vining and I just left it outside in the sun, didn't water it, didn't do nothing. and. Uh, it's happy now so lesson learned I just need to leave it alone as for the rest of my evening oh it's Thursday by the way I'm not working tomorrow um, tomorrow is actually babe and I's anniversary but I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here and then I can do a weekend vlog for late anyway okay I'm gonna end it here I feel like I always say that and then I just keep talking um, so I'm gonna repot the succulents and I don't know hang out shower read and then but for my eyebrows healing if you guys wanted to see it's only what, Tuesday to Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, it's only been like 48 hours. Okay. Say bye to the vlog, Rose. Rosie, wanna say bye? <laughs> um, the clover is not bloomed anymore, obviously, so we're gonna mow it down this weekend. Okay. I'll show you guys the cannas as an outro. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope that you liked it. It was kind of a another mis mismatch. The word was mismatch that I was looking for in the last vlog. Anyway, thank you guys for being here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! sorry me again one more thing <laughs> if you actually stay to the end of this vlog I forgot that I recorded Rosie's first time in her little splash pad thing that we got her since she was like loving the water hose so I'm gonna put the clip of that here so if you made it this far enjoy Thank you.